morning, Gen 2. Welcome to church. You are the church, I am the church. We are at the church. Physically, we are in different place, but the Holy Spirit abides us and among us. We're gonna worship God together with all our heart. So, Gen 2, I miss you guys all. It's been a long time. <clears throat> Please stay healthy, stay strong. So uh, by God's grace, we are gathered together, not in one place, but different place. We're going to worship God with all our hearts. You guys are ready? That's good. You need to dress up. Oh, before we start the service, I invited Jenny Bujangnim and Kent Teacher to announce, I mean, the, uh, let you know more about the online service etiquette. Okay, get ready. Please welcome Kenneth Teacher and Jenny Bujangnim. Hello, Hi, Gem2. Gem2. Hey, Kenneth teacher, we missed you. Hi, hey, Gem2. Uh, we miss you guys, and right now we're gonna go over some etiquettes for Sunday service. So, for number one, make sure to get out of bed and get dressed. And for number two, bring a Bible and your offering and make sure to write down any prayer requests you have on your offering. And number three, please sing along with JJ teacher and Sandy teacher. And number four, Every activities that we ask you to do, please do it with your whole heart. Okay? Sounds good? Good, good. Bye. Bye. All right, from this week, we're going to start the service with our prayer. So each week, our teachers open us in prayer. This week, their teachers going to open us in prayer. Their teacher, would you please pray for us? Thank you. Good morning everyone, I hope that you're doing very well. I'm going to be taking this time to go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. So let us all bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together every Sunday. I know that there's been many challenges with coronavirus, with the protests, and just not being able to gather within your house of worship. However, you have made it possible in order for us to gather together on Sunday by allowing us to go ahead and connect with one another through technology. As we go ahead and go into a time of worship, along with hearing the sermon, the Word of God, allow us to go ahead and open up our hearts, open up our ears, so that we are able to go ahead and receive your Word. Allow us to go ahead and Fill our bodies with your words so that we are able to grow as we are able to grow stronger within the word of Christ so that we are able to become better Christians so that we may become instruments of you so that you will be able to use us in order to further show the world and proclaim to the world how great you are thank you for protecting us Thank you for giving us life. Thank you for allowing us to gather together every Sunday to go ahead and receive your word. Allow us to go into the following week with courage, with love, and in remembrance of you so that we never forget how possible it is that we're able to see great things every day that is all made possible by you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I uh, hope you're having a good morning. And so uh, from wherever you are, I would like for you to join me and please stand up and be ready to praise and worship today. Amen? Amen. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that designed the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at His command and all the stars obey. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and filled the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that designed the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at His command and all the stars obey. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. There's no greater power than the power of our God. Free like a bird in the big blue sky, not a cloud or a care for a million miles. I won't worry, worry about a thing. God loves me and he loved me first. He rescued me when I was in a lurch and I won't worry, worry about a thing. And to the left I'll fly, fly, fly.
moment for us to prepare our hearts for worship. Amen. You gave up a throne for a manger. Traded a crown for a cross. Lay down your life for a stranger. And for all who are broken and lost. You So let's everybody put your hands together, close your eyes, and pray. Dear God, thank you for inviting us to this Sunday service. We are so thankful to have this opportunity to learn more about you today. Help us to prepare our hearts as we get ready to hear the living word through Pastor David. Let us put everything down and focus only on you right now. Thank you for blessing us with so many things in our lives. And thank you for allowing us to bring this offering to you today. Let this offering be used for expanding your kingdom and for your glory. We love you and we pray this in the mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Good morning, Gem 2. Welcome to Sunday service. I hope you guys had a very blessing week this week. And welcome to Sunday service. Announcements. So I hope you guys are continue to remind your parents about upload, uh, taking a picture and uploading to our group chat room. We want to see all of you guys participate in that. So please remind your parents to take a picture of you guys. And second, the challenge that we did a couple weeks ago, uh, Pastor Dave is going to be giving out prizes to everybody that participated. So thank you all of those, uh, all of you guys that participated and. Enjoy the Sunday service. Hello there. This month we're talking about our incredible planet, Earth. That's outer space, and that's Earth. And here we are, that little dot. Let's zoom in closer. That's better. Do you know where all this started? Let's go all the way back to the very beginning. Actually, let's go even further back to before the very beginning. Before any of this was created, there was God and Jesus, who is God. Jesus has always existed, even before the world was created. This is God's big story. It all starts with Jesus. God tells us his story in the Bible. Sure, the Bible is a book, but it's more than that. It's how God talks to us and tells us about himself. The Bible was written by a lot of people, more than 40 people to be exact, and God told them what to write. The Bible has a whole bunch of different books and verses in it. It has a bunch of stories, like the story of Daniel being thrown into the lion's den, 
Jonah and the big fish, and David and the giant, Goliath. You may have heard some of those stories. Even though there are a lot of different stories, they are all part of one big story. What does all of this have to do with us today? The Bible tells one big story about God creating people, sin entering the world, and God sending someone to save us from sin and restore our relationship with Him. The person He sent to save us from our sins is Jesus, and we are part of the story because we can have a relationship with Jesus. Hey Gen2, we have new series of the message this month. The, the name, the title is In the Beginning. In the beginning, what happened? At the planet, the earth, the all the world, what happened before the beginning, before the creation? So we're gonna talk about the end and the beginning. So the title of today's message is The Bible Tells God's Big Story. There would be one main idea when big one big story in the Bible. Let's find out. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. What or who existed before the creation of the world? It may be Pastor David, or Yechan, or anyone? We need to find out. How do you know? Let's find out. Let's look at the Bible. The book of John chapter 1 verse 1. Let's turn to Bible, the book of John, Chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, we're going to look at the Bible, okay? I'm going to give you a few seconds, you know, go find out your Bible, get your Bible and turn to the book of John, chapter 1. Book of John is in New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Okay, get ready. John, chapter 1, verse 1, ready, set, go. In the beginning was the word... And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Wait, 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 wait. So complicated. Word, 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 and God, beginning, God, Word. So complicated. No, this is so simple. Look at this. In the beginning was the Word. That means Jesus Christ. Which means when God created everything, let there be light, and Jesus was there. Look at verse 2. He was with God in the beginning. Who is He? Jesus. Jesus was with God in the beginning. Through Him, through Jesus, all things were made. And without Him, without Jesus, nothing was made that has been made. Amen. So it's all, the Bible talks about Jesus. It's all about big story. It's all about Jesus Christ. He was there in the beginning. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. Amen. Look at verses 5 to 4 to 5. In Him was life, and that life was the light of the mankind. Light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So, God's story has been going on forever and ever because He has existed forever, right? As you look at verse 1, there was, in the beginning there was the Word. The Word means Jesus Christ. He was there. He is the beginning and the end. And all of God's big story is all about Jesus Christ. Before the creation, until forever and ever. So, the Bible... This Bible is all about Jesus Christ, right? His story. So the word, his history, comes from his story, Jesus' story. But, so if the Bible is one big story, what's it all about? This Bible is one big story? Okay, then what? And why are there so many different parts of the Bible, right? The Genesis, Exodus, Malachi and Daniel, Hosea, Zechariah, Timothy, 1 Corinthians, so 66 books. Why? We have so many books. Let's find out. Look at this. How many authors in the Bible? Probably it's going to be about 40 writers. As you know, we have David and Moses and Solomon and Paul and Peter. So many authors. It's a you know, we have 66 books, New Testament, Old Testament. 
It's about 40 writers we have, and also 10 different countries, and also 1,600 years recording all the story of the Bible. And in 66 books, it has 1,189 chapters. And three languages, Hebrew in Old Testament, Greek in New Testament, and Aramaic. And also in the Bible, 2,930 people come up, show up. And we have 66 books. How many Old Testament books? 39. New Testament? 27. Right. And also it has 1,551 places show us. So we have Old Testament and New Testament. Old Testament, 39 books. New Testament, 27 books. Right? So, what does all of this have to do with us today? This, human and God. Simply, this Bible talks about Jesus Christ. Let me explain this. So the Bible tells God's big story. What is the big story in the Bible? All the books from Genesis to Re Revelation. What this book talks about? About Jesus. Jesus about what? Let's look at Listen carefully. Look at this. So in the beginning, there was the Word in God and Jesus Christ. So God created everything. Human and nature and everything. He created everything. But because of the sin, God and humor, we separated. Look at verse. Romans chapter 3, 23 says, Everyone sinned, you and I. We sin almost every day. So many sins. Even, you know, we reject the Jesus Christ accepting Him. Jesus tried to get into our life, but we sometimes we reject. We do so many bad things. Because we are the sinners. All have sinned before God. And also, because of that sin, we have to die. If you have the Bible, the, the book of Romans, chapter 6, 26, it said, I'm going to read it. For the ways of sin is that, but the gift of God is eternal life in the name of Jesus Christ. So we all have sinned because of that sin. The ways of sin is that we have to die, everyone, because of our sin. And this is really important. The book of Hebrew, chapter 9, verse 27, it said, And as it is appointed for man to die once, but after this, the judgment. Because of our sin, we have to be judged. And look at the Bible. If we die, we have to go to hell or heaven. But there is good news. That's why so many people try to reach God because we are separated from God and us, human and God, that we, have, we try to go over to God's side. So, so many people try here some education. They try to do something good for others, helping, homeless, and you know, you need to help your parents, help your friend. So many things. I want to try my best to reach God. I want to combine. I want to reconnect. To God. So many people try this and this and this, but they cannot get to God. There is only way. Because of our, our sin, we were separated from God, but there is an answer. Only Jesus Christ. He became a bridge. He became a mediator between us and God. We cannot get together, but because of Jesus Christ, we can go over to God's side. How? John 3, 16, whoever believes in Him will have eternal life. And John 1, 12, who have confessed that Jesus is your Savior through your mouth, they will be saved. Amen. This is so simple. John 5, 24, he said, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes Him who sent me as eternal life, and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Amen. Can you imagine this? 
all of these things, we are separated from God. So many people try to reach God, but we cannot do anything only Jesus Christ can do. He has no sin. Instead of our, our, instead of our sin, we have to die on the cross. He died on the cross because of our sin. He rose again from the dead. Do you believe this? This is God's big story. This Bible about Jesus Christ, that He wants to give us eternal life. Do you believe that? Are you sure that Jesus died for your sins on the cross and buried and rose again? Do you believe this? If you understand this whole picture, big picture, this is the key. The Bible talks about eternal life, about Jesus Christ. He came this earth to save us. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Everyone, bow your heads, put your hands together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and grace that you sent Jesus Christ. All the books in the Bible, we know so many stories in the Bible about David and Goliath and Daniel and Peter and John. But today we knew that the, all the big idea, big story in the Bible is about Jesus Christ who died for us and rose again from the dead to save us. Father God, thank you so much for your love that you sent Jesus Christ to save us. We confess that. We are the sinner because of our sin. We have to be punished, but you punished instead of us that we have eternal life. Thank you for your love, your grace and mercy on us. We love you, Father, because you loved us first. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. This is the sharing time. I want you guys to share two things with the parents or your siblings together. The first question is, you know this, do you think the people still need the Bible? Why? This is such an old book. Is it half for us? Why? Why do you need it? Do they need it or no? Okay, think about it. Talk to your parents and siblings. And the second question, then what are some way you can make reading the Bible more of the priority? So we have to do something this and this, this, but we have to make priority. The first priority, reading the Bible. How are you going to make the plan? Okay, talk about it. Okay, I'm going to give it two minutes. Let's get started.
too. As you know, we have special memory verses for every month. But I want to give you additional memory verses this month. So a book of John chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. This is really important verses in the Bible to know more about Jesus Christ and God and the Word. So um, in this month, you have to memorize additional verses. Okay, but don't worry about it. I find out a really good song. This song will help you to memorize these verses. Okay, you ready? Let's watch and sing together. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. He is the Word. John 1, verse 1, 2, 3. Was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God. He was with God. 